Bruce Serum. Thank you so much for watching the post-game interview, post-game press conference here for the Baltimore Ravens and the LA Chargers. Would really mean a lot if you could like the video, give us a thumbs up if you're new, and click that subscribe button as well. Everyone going to give you the post-game stuff where you heard it already for Lamar Jackson. The Ravens, John Harbaugh, the Ravens, Brandon Staley, the head coach of the Chargers. Everybody, final score tonight from SoFi Stadium on Sunday Night Football. The Baltimore Ravens come in and get the win. Final score, Baltimore 20, the LA Chargers 10. In a game that was pretty ugly, everybody, very ugly. The difference in the football game... The Chargers could not come through when it mattered the most. They turned the football over four times, and that was their downfall tonight. Justin Herbert, an interception. Also a fumble on a sack lost. Austin Eckler and Keelan, Ian Keenan Allen each lost fumbles. Ravens did not turn the ball over. When you win the turnover battle, 4-0. You're going to win the football game, and that's what the Ravens did. 20-10 to 10 the final in a grinded-out defensive struggle in prime time. Ravens get the win, everybody. They are 9-3 and three on the season. They are back in the number one seed in the AFC Conference. If the season ended right now, they would have a first-round bye. Talking about a bye, they're going on their bye week right now as they are going to get a little bit of a break everybody they had a break before this game and they'll have a break after this game so a well-deserved break here for baltimore as we enter the month of december strong game for lamar jackson did enough to win kept in check though held to 177 yards through the air only 39 yards rushing on 11 carries the big play of the game offensively for baltimore was at the end a touchdown by Zay Flowers, the 37-yard run that sealed the deal for the Ravens. And everybody for the Chargers, they've lost again. They're 4-7. and seven. It's clear as day that what they're doing and who they have in, in charge is just not working. We know their roster is talented beyond belief. We know they have so much talent on that roster. For LA, they have Herbert, Eckler, Allen, Mike Williams when he's healthy, Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, Derwin James. Like, my gosh. Everybody, we know that with the Chargers, it's not a lack of talent issue. We know that. The entire time it's been coaching, and particularly Brandon Staley. Last week, he went off on the media. Because they were trying to talk about his defense, which is, for the most part, terrible. They were good tonight, but they've been pretty much terrible the entire time he's been there. We know what the issue is for the Chargers. It's coaching, and it's Brandon Staley. You have Justin Herbert, all this talent, and you're struggling to win football games. Like, pull the plug. It's over. Fire him. Fire him. Blew the 27 nothing lead in the playoff game last year. 4-7 and seven this year. For the love of all, get out. Can't win a close game. Chargering to unchargerable belief. LA, you have the talent, you have the quarterback, you don't have the head coach, it's over. Find the guy at coach and Herbert will flourish. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the post-game press conferences and our reaction here for the Ravens and the Chargers. Have a good night, everybody. God bless.